All right, before we get started, some of you may have noticed we are approaching the 50,000 subscriber mark on YouTube. Well, my producer JF has been annoying me lately about how I use the cop and styles language too much, which is pretty awesome. Yes, it is, but apparently he hates it. So I want to shut him up by giving him a little gift. By Friday of this week, I want to pass the 50,000 subscriber mark on YouTube. So if you haven't hit that little button over there yet, please do it. Come on, if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed, just subscribe, it's right over there. You hit the button, game over, okay? Now let's go to the news. A BMW tuner takes a wagon and punches it in the face. A Lamborghini tuner boosts the horsepower and price of the LP640 while adding a half a million dollar paint job. And we find the best Bentley paint scheme. Yeah, we're going there. That's all coming up on today's episode and stay tuned for the second half of the show. We've got Alan Kay in this week's FL Detours with the Chevy Equinox. What up everybody, I'm Derek D. You're checking out Fast Lane Daily, copping mad styles. We here at FLD have always had a special place in our hearts for hot wagons. Yes, that's true. There's the original B5 RS4, the Volvo V70R, and let's not forget the BMW 540i Estate. But there's never been anything in the form of an M3 Estate. Until now. Manhart Racing has unveiled their V10-powered BMW E91 Estate. Taking the 5.0 liter V10 out of the E60 M5, Manhart has also included revised electronics, a new HGS stainless steel exhaust, Bilstein coilover suspension, and six piston brakes from StopTech, all of which puts the wagon on par with some serious machines. We're talking about a 0 to 60 time of 4.3 seconds, a top speed of 201 miles per hour. On the exterior, the car is fitted with an M3 body kit and custom Rad Monza three-part forged wheels. All that comes in at a price of 178,000 bucks. The perfect car for bringing the kids to school, especially those kids with serious ADHD. All right, JF? <laughs> if a Lamborghini is not exclusive enough for you, the ambitious tuner JB Design has concocted something a bit spicier for your palate. Now those wacky Germans have taken the LP640 and created the JBR, which produces upwards of 710 or 750 horsepower depending on your request. Also included is an aerodynamic package that features a new front valance, side skirts, rear spoiler, rear diffuser, boot and engine hood. Since JB does not want your neighbors to hate you, it has built a sport exhaust that utilizes a flap to change the sound of the vehicle at the touch of a button. So you're saying the whistles don't go woo woo! It's that woo woo! Whistles go woo! <laughs> Gotta love Bub Rub. Come on Ian, give me a woo woo! <laughs> that was weak weak. Alright. <laughs> Rounding out the updated Mercy are 20 inch three piece aluminum rims made by Schmidt Revolution. But I have left the best for last. As I was reading the press release earlier, I found out that paint on the JBR costs 280,000 euros per liter or 414,000 greenbacks if you're not a hedge fund quant wizard. The total cost for mods is about 740,000 bucks. Is this awesome or a waste of hard earned clams? Let us know in the comments below. Blue. Woo -woo. Woo -woo. <laughs> and just when you thought getting a tattoo of your favorite car on your ass was a good idea, we have an even better one for you. This Bentley Continental Flying Spur tattooed with a woman's ass. <laughs> yeah. According to Autoblog.nl, this Flying Spur was decorated for the 2009 Fireball Run, a charity rally. What charities specifically? Well, no one can be quite sure. And better yet, why put a woman's backside on a Bentley's bottom? And why drop it and throw on 22s? Oh, that's right. It's all for charity. <laughs> Gotta give them credit for gaining attention. That was the purpose of the rally, right? I mean, that disgusting I thought it was the blow. destruction. <laughs> wow, Chad. <laughs> all right. Do you ever get the urge to, oh, well, I don't know, get drunk, get naked, then get behind the wheel of a car? Well, if so, then you should hang out with Ulbado Olvera. Yeah, this dude. Looks like a winner. He was having such a great day on Sunday, he decided to go for a drive in his birthday suit. After driving like, well, a drunken naked man, cops noticed and started a pursuit. Olvera led the police on a three county chase until he drove into a ditch. He then got out of the car naked and ran onto the highway where he was eventually arrested. Cops were reportedly playing rock, paper, scissors to decide who was going to tackle the naked man. Officer Todd here was the unlucky one to throw paper when Officer Frank 
through scissors. Sucks for you. Next up, FL Detours with none other than Alan Kay in a Chevy Equinox. Lunch? Uh, pizza, I'd hope. You down? Pizza. Subscribing costs nothing. Daily, not monthly. And our cars actually move. Fastlane Daily is fast and fresh and here to stay. Hey everybody, what's up? It's Alan Kay for FL Detours. Today we're going to test drive the 2010 Chevy Equinox. Let's take it for a ride. <laughs> Of all the FLD tour guys who get cars, you know, I'm the family guy. I've got kids, the wife, the, uh, the suburban lifestyle. I don't get the Z4s to review. I don't get the Lotus to review. I get the SUVs. Last year I did the Volvo wagon. So they said, Alan Kay, take it out. What do you think? Well, what do I think? For $31,000, you get a pretty solid ride. You're high off the ground. It's an SUV. A little bit of play in the steering, but we were driving out here today and it felt pretty solid at high speeds. 2.4 liter engines got so-so acceleration, but you know, a soccer mom is not going to worry about that, I, I wouldn't think. I'm, I'm not the kind of guy who's going to do specs. I get in a car, I drive it. Would I want to have it? Would I not? This, for a, you know, they call it a crossover, it's an SUV. It looks like an SUV, it drives like an SUV. What's the expression? If it walks like a duck, it is a duck, or it sounds like a duck. Well, this is a duck. Chevy's claiming that this four-cylinder Equinox gets 29 miles per gallon, though I'm kind of doubting an SUV of this size and weight's gonna do that well. Instrumentation's a little quirky. I found it kind of hard to read the gauges and dials. There's a lot going on on this dashboard, probably more than I need. This luxury package comes with two DVD players in the back and wireless headphones. It'd be like flying to California and watching a movie. But interestingly enough, for the 31000 bucks and all the other luxury stuff it has, it doesn't have a sunroof. I don't need a DVD player while I drive. Give me a sunroof. So comfort-wise, it feels great. Really comfortable up here, plenty of leg room. Uh, one of our guys, Rich, is 6'8", and he drove it and felt fine with it. Two up front, two in the back, and plenty of cargo space to haul all your crap around. When you throw the Equinox in reverse, a backup cap is activated, and the monitor is in the rear view mirror, which was pretty clever, actually. So the Chevy Equinox, $31,000 for this model, 29 miles per gallon, lots of space to haul your stuff around, comfortable ride, I'd recommend it. Excuse me. Cut it out, man. Stop. Don't make me stop this car again and put your seatbelt on. He started. Put your seatbelt on. I'm just trying to watch the, the movie. He needs on the nice dual screen. Watch the movie after your seatbelt's on and you calm down. All right, it's on, but Leo Very keeps good. messing with me. I'm Alan Kay for FLP. Thanks, Slash. I mean, Howard Star, uh, Alice Coop, uh, Alan Kaufman. <laughs> what up, AK? Good job. But I gotta tell you, I can't stand riding the back of the car with Leo. He's just very annoying. All right. Well, that about does it for Fast Lane Daily today. I'm Derek D. Remember, subscribe on YouTube. 50,000 or the whistles go whoop, whoop. Where's high quality? Whoop, whoop. Where's high quality? This quality sucks. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Leo Very keeps good. messing with me. Watch your movie. I'm watching my movie. Stop. I'm going to throw you out this friggin' car. I got to pee. I'm telling you. <laughs> All right. <laughs>